All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. This is uh, 72 hours with this uh, new L Lenovo laptop, uh, and I've been using this extensively. So I'm, I'm going to highlight some things. There's a lot of things that, that are negative about this, this computer. Um, first, I want to start with the network. Now, this does have Wi-Fi and LTE. I still have my T-Mobile SIM card in here. I've actually left it in there because I have so many phone lines. I just left it in there and it continues to work every time. But I'm connected to my five gigahertz Wi-Fi and the router in my home is right above us. Uh, and it is, it's just fast, man. Um, so these are the type of speeds that I'm getting uh, from this particular laptop with Wi-Fi. It is not very fast compared to other devices that are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Now, Lenovo says that, you know, this is going to be great over uh, Wi-Fi. And these speeds right here, to me, are not impressive because I have one gigabit internet. And every other device that I do on Wi-Fi is double this and then some, sometimes three times as fast as this. And it's pretty amazing that this is how it's, it's going down. So I'm going to just give you some kind of example here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I got my Note 8 right here in my iPhone, but I'll just use the Note 8 to do a speed test. And let's see if I can find that same sudden link server after this finishes. Uh, sudden link, sudden link. So let's go on here now. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, it's just so much better uh, on other devices. Uh, it's unreal at how much slower this laptop is over Wi-Fi. And I find that very strange uh, according to, you know, Lenovo is got, it's going to get great. It's going to do great over Wi-Fi. As you can see there, I pretty much scored double. Uh, and the upload speeds are the same. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the laptop when it comes to that. Uh, but I will tell you that it's not Im that impressive over Wi-Fi. Uh, and the internet, internet speeds for streaming and things like that are perfectly fine. I know that's, that sounds crazy because some of you guys don't even have 200 down. Uh, but I have one gigabit internet and most devices that are over Wi-Fi get 400 at least. Uh, ne nearly all of them get about 400 at least. I'm surprised that this laptop uh, doesn't. And my I've tested it next to my iPad and other laptops and they all get faster speeds than that. And you know, that might be a problem later, I don't know. Now, I wanna talk about something uh, gaming. You will not be able to do any gaming on this device. You're stuck with games like Candy Crush and, and little simple games like this. I tried to load up Sniper Fury, uh, which is a graphic intense game, but I wanted to see how well the Snapdragon 850 would do, which is a modified 845. Uh, it does not do well at all. So you see, you probably look at that game and say, oh Jay, you know, it, it loaded pretty fast. Well, um, yeah, that that's okay, but this game right here is the game that I actually like to play. I'm just minimizing it here because it's going to take forever to load. I won't be able to get this to load in this video more than likely because once I complete a level and I need to go back in and play the next level, it stays in this is the loading screen for this and it just will not load. It is not very good. It loads, but it takes forever. I mean, at least one time I waited about three to five minutes. And on other devices, it loads in a matter of seconds. But that is the Snapdragon 850. Uh, and, you know, it's, this is the way it's going to be optimized. And I'm calling out these things now just to kind of forewarn people. Uh, they're considering buying this laptop. If you plan on doing gaming, uh, you don't want to buy, or I should say graphic intense games, you don't want to use this laptop for that. Don't bother with it. I have a gaming laptop that I would definitely continue to use. Uh, this will not get very much gaming at all. It'll be simple games like Candy Crush and these little touch games, and that's pretty much it. So all the time I've been talking, this should have loaded already. This should have been on, because I've played this on other devices, and it loads instantly on other laptops. So this Snapdragon 850 is definitely not for gaming, uh, and it can handle just mild gaming like this. You can see this game is still ready to play. Uh, so other, let me see if anything other I've, uh, other things I can think of that I, I came across that just wasn't very good. Oh, just the overall processing uh, performance of this laptop. It's decent. It's not going to win any awards, that's for sure. Uh, but you know, just the overall experience. Um, it's kind of, it feels just feels kind of sluggish uh, compared to the reviews that I see online say, oh, it's the greatest performance is great. And I'm thinking, wow, I, I don't know what laptop they're using, but my performance uh, is not as smooth as theirs. Just the basic overall flowing between things is cool. Media consumption is actually really decent on here. Uh, but you can see how, how sluggish it feels just open that up into full screen. 
But once you get there, you know, things are great. I don't, I don't have an issue with it. The screen looks beautiful. Everything is good on here. Uh, so, you know, that's it's, it's subjective to whether or not you think that's sluggish or not. But I think it's sluggish. And it's such a shame because this is such a beautiful display. Uh, and the laptop overall is fantastic when it comes to other things. But check the boxes. Now, gaming, no heavy gaming, but you can game. Uh, Wi-Fi network. I have one gigabit internet and the Wi-Fi network for me is seems like it just kind of stops around two. I've never went and stood right next to the router, but maybe I'll do that test one day and I'm sure I'll get better speeds than 200. Uh, but at the same time, all the other devices that I have are away from the router and they're getting over 400 every time. So consider that. Um, one other thing I found that I ran into an issue uh, is with um, when I plugged in my GoPro to this laptop to transfer some data, it just kind of got hung up. The sound went away at, in the laptop itself. It kind of just crashed and bogged down. I was like, wow, I was just transferring a couple of things to the actual uh, laptop and it just went crazy. Like I plugged the, the GoPro directly into the laptop to transfer the data and that somehow canceled out the sound in the laptop. Uh, it, it, I had to reboot the laptop and I said, I'm not even going to bother doing that again. And that was on the first day. And I figured, I said, you know, this is the first day. So, you know, I'm having some problems. The systems, you know, the laptop's just getting going, you know, it, yeah, it's one of those things, but I haven't even tried to do it again, man. And I'm not going to do it again because that was a hassle, man. It was a real hassle trying to get the thing to start. It was stuck on a restart screen, the blue screen. I was so frustrated, but that's neither here nor there. That's another issue that I ran into. That doesn't mean that you will run into that issue. Uh, but I'm just letting you know, when I plugged in my GoPro Hero 7 Black, the sound went away on the laptop. The, it froze up. I was like, why? It transferred the files. No doubt. It transferred the files. But uh, it had a lot of problems trying to get back to its normal state. So I'm assuming that it's, you know, the Snapdragon 850 that just can't handle these things. And that's got to be, you know, and I laughed at a Core M3, but the Core M3 can edit 4K, could do everything really, really well. So I haven't done any graphic intense, like really heavy editing on this yet, because after that experience, I said, I gotta, I gotta pull this. I can't do this because I don't wanna lose all this footage. So I decided to do it on a different device, my 5K Mac, of course. Uh, another area where I felt like this device just didn't feel right is this has eight gigs of DDR4, and it just does not feel like it at times. It just doesn't feel like it. It just feels uh, extremely sluggish, like I said before. And it's just, you know, Windows is fast in its own right, uh, but it just feels sluggish at times. It doesn't feel like it has eight gigs of RAM. Now, you're probably thinking Jay is killing this thing, and for eight minutes he's been dogging this thing. Is there anything good? Well, yeah, there is. So if you hung around, there's a lot good about this. I love watching content on here. I love putting it uh, in the tent mode. Uh, which is this mode right here. I love just using it like this, I found. Uh, it just comes across as easier. I like to have the sound project off the back. Uh, just certain little small things. And this is how I'm going to use this more than likely when I'm at the hotels or just traveling. In tent mode, watching a movie like this, this will be just fantastic for me. Uh, keyboard out of the way, space open here. I can eat, do, do whatever I want to do and watch a good movie. And that is where this definitely comes in handy. Uh, I have the ability to have a full Windows computer at my uh, disposal, uh, but at the same time, um, it can still do other things very well. And I like this tent mode right here for watching media com content and Netflix. And yes, Netflix comes across great on here. Uh, no issues at all with, with media consumption in any kind of way. The stereo speakers on here are loud in their own right in the right setting. So keep that in mind too. Now, another area where I found like, feel like this phone, this device, uh, this phone, Lord, uh, this laptop shines over plenty of other laptops is the keyboard. This is probably one one of the best keyboards I have ever used on a computer. It, the traveling feedback is so nice. Uh, it's got just enough, man. It just feels fantastic when doing a long document. Writing things for the website is definitely something that I plan on doing with this. Uh, it's so lightweight and thin, it just feels fantastic to use. It's not too heavy when I'm sitting in the, on the, the recliner or something typing up. I typed up an article on the best smartphones of 2018. You'll see that video soon. Uh, but I typed it up. I did all of that on this laptop and it just felt fantastic. I, I didn't get fatigued at all. Uh, it just felt right. So media consumption, 
long data entry, you will love yourself for getting this laptop. I don't think people are buying this laptop for heavy gaming, but the fact that it can't do some the game that I tried, the one game that I wanted to try <laughs> that works on everything I have, uh, that kind of disappointed me. But that's neither here nor there. Data entry for this thing is absolutely off the charts. If you own, if you run a website and you want to travel with something, you're just going to be doing a lot of data entry. That is a plus. Uh, I had to reboot my every now and then I'll reboot my Wi-Fi or I'll just turn off the internet on Wi-Fi and just use LTE for everything every now and then. Because sometimes uh, plugging, unplugging your modem at home and plugging it back up will pull in any kind of software updates without you having to call, and it'll fix things on the network that you don't even know are happening. So if your speeds are starting to slow down, things like that. Well, I unplugged for a little while, and I used LTE, and it was perfectly fine. Surfing the internet is definitely okay with the T-Mobile LTE that's in here. Um, it does work with Verizon, but as you can see here, uh, T-Mobile LTE, it perfectly fine flawless i haven't had any issues at all uh and it just works great man it after you turn off wi-fi it finds the signal you can see i got full bars there and everything works fantastic with that now another area where this laptop really shines is battery uh, i've got 56 percent left with over seven hours of screen on time remaining or usage remaining and I, that holds true now they claim up to 22 hours of of battery usage out of this thing right now i've gotten about maybe 16 or 17 I haven't gotten 22 yet but I haven't pushed it all the way down to like 2% I haven't done that because I'm like you know I don't need to do that um, if it starts to get low you, you can gauge some sense like if I'm at 10% or 20% and uh, I've got 15 hours of screen on to, or usage out of this thing I'm probably gonna get maybe another 45 minutes to an hour. So one day I will run it down to a complete battery drain on here and let you guys know uh, how that actually does. But for now, uh, this laptop is, for me, has been great for data entry, great for social media. Those two things right there really nailed home with this. And the fact that it has a fingerprint reader in it just really, it activates so quickly. When you hit that, it's, you're in. That's, it's just that fast. I mean, that's just crazy. So I'm gonna, gonna uh, lock it here. Can you still do control alt delete on computers? Yeah, you sure can. So if I lock it right there, fingerprint down there, in your in. I love it. Another reason why I wanted to get this laptop is the small form factor. Now this is a very small, thin, and light laptop. Super impressive in size, and it is just crazy how nice this thing is. Remember, this is my breakaway charger, so it's not nothing wrong with that. So I'll take that away so you guys don't get distracted. But you do get two Type Cs. There is a SIM card tray right there. The power button does light up. Uh, let me see if you, yeah, you can kind of see it lighting up a little bit, kind of glowing every now and then uh, like that right there. And then you've got a headphone jack and a type C. So all in all, folks, uh, this has been a decent experience. Not the best uh, when it comes to just me wanting to do a few things like game every now and then. I'm stuck with pretty much basic games, but I will try more games uh, later on. So I think I downloaded uh, Asphalt. Um, I think I downloaded Asphalt uh, 9 uh, Legends and it wouldn't load. Um, I don't know what that's about. It just wouldn't load up. Uh, I believe I downloaded it. I believe I downloaded it. I'm pretty sure I did. I think I did. So let me connect back to Wi Fi. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into Asphalt and let's see if I downloaded Legends. Uh, but it's not available for this. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it is installed. So I, I think I was able to play this for a second. Uh, I believe that I was able to play this, but then it kind of got stuck into rotation, I believe. Um, but I'm hoping that it loads up now so you guys can see how this at least can handle some graphic. Yeah, and that's what happened. I think I played a level and then I played another level and then it just kind of got stuck in this. Here's the little thing that loads down here. Uh, it kind of got stuck right there. And that's unfortunate, you know, because, um, you know, it, it's really hard to gauge something for me that I might want to play a game every now and then. And I'm just looking at how it flows through this. And it's just not as I know this isn't a gaming laptop, so you don't have to tell me that it's not a gaming laptop. But at the same time, I should be able to at least enjoy a game if I want to. 
And so I'm going through this, and I think I've always only able to play like one or two games, and then it kind of conked out. You know, it wouldn't. Con it just didn't. It just got stuck on this loading screen, and I got tired of waiting. So maybe for this video, it'll actually load up, so you can see how it handles the graphics and everything as is out of the box. I'm really hoping that the please load so they can get some kind of sense of just in case they want to use this for gaming. But if it doesn't load. It just remains to be true that what I'm telling you is very accurate. <laughs> the Snapdragon 850 is a new thing to the market, but you know, and they don't advertise it as something you can do heavy gaming on. Uh, but I did want to give this to you just like this to tell you the truth about how I've been um, experiencing it. So, I'm not going to drag this video out. I don't think this is going to load. Uh, but you know, the the point is, if you want a data entry laptop, um, this might be one that you should consider. Uh, with with no hesitation, would I um, not recommend this to someone who wants data entry? I would definitely recommend it to you. So with that being said, it's your man, Jay Will. I hope you guys enjoyed this follow-up video 72 hours in with this thing. It's actually really good, but I'm just being honest with you and setting some kind of expectation. Maybe you'll have a different experience with these things, but this is where I'm at right now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.